It's one of the heroes on the WRC calendar. Rally Spain returns and with Kalirov and Pera having already wrapped up the driver's title, it's game on for second best. 19 stages of Spain's finest to test the WRC elite then. Eight in total today and it comes as no surprise that Rov and Pera set the early pace. First on the road on tarmac is an advantage and Rov and Pera capitalised going 1.2 seconds quicker than Thierry Neuville in second. Quite okay. Um, not the easiest condition. Pretty clean still for us of course we are first car but uh, quite okay. Let's see how the others do. I felt uh, quite okay but not the perfect stage. Stage 2, Serra de la Lena and this stretch of road hasn't appeared on the WRC since 2008. Rob and Pera took another stage win, but Oik Tanak suffered big. A hybrid issue cost him 5.8 seconds and he dropped to fifth overall. Sebastian Auger was the man on the move, third overall and just 4.7 seconds adrift of the overall rally lead. The Frenchman continued that momentum into stage 3. While Rov and Pera struggled with understeer, Auger smashed in a banger to go fastest and the eight times world champion found himself leading the rally 1.9 seconds ahead of Neuville, with Rov and Pera now third, 1.6 further back. Yeah, it's not an easy uh, morning. I mean, there is uh, some tricky condition out there. Starting seven on the road was challenging on the two first stage. This one was a bit better, the less cut in there where we could uh, maybe enjoy a bit more consistent conditions, so, so far so good, yeah. The final stage of the morning, and by now the tyres were starting to show their age. Rov and Pera, still suffering with understeer, only managed fourth fastest. I'm struggling with the understeer on that stage. Now it was really difficult to make the tyre choice for this one. Um, so let's see what we did and how it worked. Oik Tanak went second quickest but arrived at the stage end with an alternator alarm flashing on the dash and he was soon parked up by the side of the road working on his I-20. Back in the stage and Thierry Neuville was the man who was absolutely on it. He took his first stage win of the rally and the overall lead by just half a second. After four stages, Neuville, Ogier, Rovampera and Tanak separated by just six seconds. Yeah, we had a clean run through and uh, yeah, the tire strategies hasn't been so easy this morning and uh, yeah, um, was a bit on the edge in here but it was, the balance wasn't too bad on the car so I was able to have a clean run and uh, yeah, actually I was enjoying it. A repeat of the morning stages for the afternoon loop and Ogier immediately sent a message to the rest of the crews. He was fastest through stage five to retake the rally lead by 3.2 seconds. Yeah, we have to carry on like this. The feeling, uh, the feeling is okay in the car. It's even more enjoyable now with higher grip, so uh, it's good fun. Rov and Pera was the next Toyota driver to respond on stage six and seven. He went fastest on both and moved up to second overall. Neuville now down to third, 8.7 seconds off OGA's overall lead. I'm comfortable at least now in the car. This one was now much better than in the morning first pass. Um, the tyre and the car was working a bit better on this condition. So, so yeah, all good. Both times, I don't know why, I, I start to struggle with the brake feeling on these days. So that's a bit uh, issue, but otherwise good. While two Toyotas were out front, the other two were struggling. Elvin Evans and Takamoto Katsuta both picking up a puncture. Evans was running fifth but dropped nearly 40 seconds and the damage was done. He ended the day sixth over a minute off the lead. A uh, bit, yeah, I mean it went down almost like immediately with no warning, so uh, I don't know. Where into the stage was it? Uh, four or five K into the end. Up at the business end, the Hyundai struggled through the day's final stage. Tanak once again suffered hybrid failure, dropping seven seconds, while Neuville continued to struggle with the setup on his I-20. I can't really push to the maximum. I always have a bit of inertia, the car starts to slide, sometimes not, so it's difficult and it's hard to feel where to, to improve. I made some changes for here, but obviously on the cross choice, on a dry road, 
wasn't uh, yeah, the greatest choice for this condition, but obviously we expected more rain. Ogier, meanwhile, closed out the day's proceedings with another stage win to lead the rally going into day two, but only by 4.8 seconds from his teammate and the 2022 world champion, Calais Rovampera. Yeah, I mean, it's been a good day. I'm really happy. Uh, I was a bit fearing being seven on the road today with the amount of we had to go, but the feeling in the car was really good, so I could have really enjoyed the whole day. Not so easy with the changing weather all the time, but uh, yeah, so far so good. Obviously 4.8, it's not really comfortable, so we'll have to keep pushing tomorrow. Seven stages to run tomorrow. Can OJ extend his lead and edge closer to his first win of the year? Can Hyundai find anything in the I-20 overnight? Or will Rov and Pera bounce back? We want to know what you guys think. Get your comments in. We go again tomorrow.